Next, find the first derivative of f of x is equal to 5x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 6x plus 8. A, 20x cubed plus 9x squared minus 6. B, 20x raised to 4 plus 9x cubed minus 6. C, 20x cubed plus 9x squared minus 6x. And D, 15x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x. So, itong given na to is same lang dun sa question number 20. Pero ito, dumami lang siya. Pinadami. Okay, so f of x is equal to 5x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 6x plus 8. So, for this one, we need to get the derivative of each terms. So, get the derivative of this one. Ito, ito, at ito. Okay. So, for the derivative of 5x raised to 4, so, kailangan natin i-multiply yung constant. So, 5 is the given constant, 5. And then, 4, transpose mo siya para maging coefficient ng x. And then, yung 4, minus natin ng 1, kaya 3 na lang yung kanyang exponent. And then, for this one, we have the constant of 3. So, dyan muna si 3. And then, yung 3 na exponent, transpose natin para maging coefficient, we have... 3x and then the exponent will become 2 since naga minus tayo ng 1 minus the derivative of 6x so ang ating exponent ng x dito is 1 so pag nag minus tayo ng 1 automatic yung ating magiging exponent will become 0 so mawawalan na siya 0 na and then the derivative of 8 so always nasa rule yan na ang derivative of a constant is always 0 so lagi siyang magiging 0 kapag wala siyang kasamang variable so the derivative of the constant is 0 so simplify na natin we have 5 times 4x cubed we have 20x cubed 3 times 3x squared 9x squared and then x raised to 0, automatically magiging 1 siya because any number that is raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, negative 6 times 1 is equal to negative 6. So, the final answer is 20x cubed plus 9x squared minus 6. It is letter A. Number 22. Find the derivative of f of x is equal to x squared plus 3 over 5x plus 4. So, ito yung ating mga choices. The solution, if f of x and g of x are both differentiable functions at x with g of x is not equal to 0, then the derivative of f of x over g of x is equal to g of x times the derivative of f of x minus f of x times the derivative of g of x over g x squared. So, ano po ba itong mga function na to? So, yung ating f of x, that is the numerator and g of x is the denominator. So, sa madaling sabi, we have denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus numerator times the derivative of the denominator and then over denominator square. So this is the given. So we have the denominator of 5x plus 4. So substitute mo lang siya doon. 5x plus 4. And then the derivative of numerator which is x squared plus 3 minus the numerator x squared plus 3 times the derivative of denominator 5x plus 4 over 5x plus 4 square. So, gamitin lang natin si denominator and then square. Next, 5x plus 4. So, the derivative of x squared plus 3 is 2x. And then, the derivative of 5x plus 4 is 5. So, simplify, we have 10x squared plus 8x minus 5x plus 15. And then, simplify. The final answer is 5x squared plus 8x minus 15 over 5x plus 4 squared. It is letter B. Next, number 23. Differentiate y is equal to sine 4x. A cosine 4x, B for sine x, 
C, 4 cosine 4x and D, 4 sine 4x. These are the derivatives of trigonometric functions. So, the derivative of sine x is cosine x. Cosine x is negative sine x. Tangent x is second square x. Cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. And then second x, that is second x tangent x. And the cotangent x x is negative cosecant squared x. So, ang ating kailangan kuna ng derivative ay sine 4x. So, for the sine 4x, ang derivative po ng ating sine is cosine. So, it means, yung sine dito, papalitan lang natin siya ng cosine x. And then, copy natin yung function na 4x. So, we have cosine 4x. Then, multiply dun sa derivative ng ating function 4x. So, the derivative of 4x is 4. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 4 cosine 4x. The answer is letter C. Next, number 24. Differentiate y is equal to tangent 4x minus 1. A, 4 tangent 4x minus 1. B, 4 second square 4x minus 1. C second 4x minus 1 and D 4x tangent negative 1. Again, these are the derivatives of trigonometric functions. So, ang kailangan natin is tangent 4x minus 1. So, the derivative of tangent is second square x. So, papalitan lang natin si tangent ng second square. Then, we will have second square 4x minus 1. And then, get the derivative of the function 4x minus 1. So, the derivative of 4x minus 1 is 4. Then, the answer is 4 second square 4x minus 1. It is letter B. Number 25. Evaluate Limit of x plus 7 as x approaches 2. A, 6. B, 7. C, 8. D, 9. So, marami tayong rule na gagamitin dito. So, we have limit of a constant. So, limit of a constant is a constant. Example, limit of 4 as x approaches 2. So, kapag ang given natin is constant or number lang, wala tayong ibang gagawin. Siya pa din yung sagot. Kung ano yung given na constant, yun yung magiging limit ng constant na yun. So, limit of 4 as x approaches 2, that is equal to 4. 4 pa din yung ating magiging sagot. Next. Limit of the identity function. Kapag sinabi natin identity function, itong variable lang yung given. Example, limit of x as x approaches 5. So, kapag identity ang given, kung ano yung ina-approach ng x, for example, x approaches 5, kung ano yung ina-approach niya, yun yung magiging limit ng x. So, limit of the identity function. So, the question is, limit of x plus 7 as x approaches 2. So, we have 2. So, limit of the identity function plus the limit of a constant. So, sabi ko kanina, if the given is identity, we have the limit of x as x approaches 2. Kung ano yung ina-approach ng x, yun yung magiging limit niya. So, this is Two plus limit of 7 as x approaches 2. This is constant, so it means siya pa din yung magiging sagot. 7 pa din. So we have 2 plus 7, that is equal to 9. The answer is letter D. Next, number 26. So nasa abstract reasoning na tayo. Which shape comes next in the sequence? So, tingnan yung ating mga figure. Okay. So, pagdating sa abstract reasoning, wala naman talagang rule or uh, walang solution. Hindi man maituturo kung paano maisosolve para makita yung susunod na figure. So, ang kailangan lang or ang maibibigay ko lang sa inyo is tips 
paano makukuha yung susunod na figure or ano yung kailangan dun sa sequence. So, the first one is the rotating shape. So, kailangan mong tingnan ano yung meron doon sa given figure. So, ano yung nababago sa kanila? Pwedeng nagro-rotate yung shape, individual or whole. For the next one, increase or decrease in numbers of shapes or patterns. So, dapat uh, makita nyo to kung meron man doon sa sequence. Next, alternating patterns, colors, or shapes. And then, mirror images or reflections. So, ito yung dapat nating observe kapag uh, nagsasagot ng isang abstract reasoning. Okay. For this question, ayan. So, ano yung pwedeng susunod sa sequence or anong figure yung kailangan natin? So, ano po ba yung mga na-observe natin na pinagkaiba nila? So, the first one is the color. So, as you can see, first figure is black, next is white, next is black. So, the, this al uh, alternate yung color na binibigay. So, assume natin na yung susunod is white. So, dahil white yan, automatic cross out na natin si B and C kasi black sila. So, meron pa tayong dalawang pagpipilian. So, ano pa yung susunod na pwede natin makita? So, meron tayong mga markings sa loob ng figures. So, una is yung X. So, ano po bang nakikita natin dito? Ano ang pinagkaiba nila sa isa't isa? So, itong una and then pangalawa, yung una napunta siya dito. So, andito na siya. And then, napunta siya dito Ayon. So, ang kailangan natin sa susunod na figure, dapat nandito na yung ating X. And then, the next one is yung that. So, nagro-rotate din siya clockwise kagaya ng X. So, kung nandito yung ating that, dapat nandito yung ating that sa susunod. So, based on sa observation natin, ano ang ating sagot? We have letter D. So, ito yung susunod sa sequence. Next, number 27. Which shape completes the sequence? So, observe nyo yung ating given. So, we have Ayan. So, kung napapansin nyo, yung ating mga figures may mga lines. So, kapag binilang natin siya, we have first figure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then for the third one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, lahat sila merong 5 lines. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this is also 5. So, um, sa pagpipilian, we have A, 4 lines, B, 5, C, 3, and then D, 5 lines. So, ang kailangan lang natin is merong 5 lines. So, cross out natin si A and C. Ano pang susunod? So, makikita nyo, we have markings. Meron tayong box sa loob ng figures. Ayun. So, pag tinignan natin siya, ayun. Then, sa una, we have black. For the third one, we have black. And then, white and black. So, pag tinignan natin itong tatlong to, alternate yung kulay. So, ma-assume natin na ang nandito ay white. So, ano ba yung white dito? So, we have letter D. So, ayun yung kukompleta sa ating sequence. Next, which shape complete the sequence? So, pakatingnan muna mabuti. Okay. So, dito, kung mapapansin nyo, magkakaiba din yung kulay. So, alternate ulit. So, we have black and then unknown. Black, white, black. So, kung sila ay alternate, it means that yung figure dito, that is white. So, kung white yan, cross out natin si A and D. Next, ano pang susunod na pinagkaiba nila? So, kung dito, sa first figure, we have two sides. Third figure, we have one, two, three, four. And then, 5, 6 sides. So, mapansin nyo, kada magbabago yung figure, nagdadagdag ng isang side. So, kung ito ay 2, 
plus 1, kailangan natin ng 3. Okay? So, dito, ating B is 0, wala siyang sides. So, letter C ang ating sagot. Next, number 29. Which shape completes the sequence? So, ano yung mapapansin mo sa mga arrow? So, dito, mapapansin mo, kapag nirotate mo siya clockwise ng 90 degrees, yun yung magiging itsura niya. For example, itong second figure, kapag nirotate mo siya, yan ito yung magiging itsura niya. And then, pag narotate mo, ito, and then, ito. So, rotation lang, clockwise. Pero, ang kailangan natin dito is yung nasa unahan. So, nasa left side siya ng ating mga figure. So, kung ito, para makuha yung mga susunod, i-rotate natin siya clockwise. Para makuha yung nasa left side, kailangan natin siyang i-rotate counterclockwise. So, pag narotate natin siya, ano ang magiging itsura niya? Ayun, so we have letter B. Next, last questions. Which shape comes next in the sequence? Okay, so ano yung mga napapansin? We have the small circle. We have black, white, black, white. And then, the larger circle, we have white, black, white white, black. So, sa susunod, ang kailangan natin ay black small circle and white larger circle. So, cross out na natin yun. So, ang natira ay letter C. Okay. Thank you for listening. So, this is our last week ng pag-review. So, Good luck sa inyong entrance exam. And that's all for today. Thank you.